Hey everyone, it is February, which means it is Black History Month, and in this video, I wanna share some of my favorite read-alouds to read this month that are geared towards kindergarten, first, and second grade students. I'm gonna add this video to my picture book suggestions playlist here on YouTube. It looks like this. I have a whole bunch of picture book suggestions for K through two on there. Um, for all sorts of topics and skills and things like that. I have Women's History Month, uh, books on friendship, and so much more. So after this video, you can check those out as well. But if you are ready to see what books I love for Black History Month, give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and let's get started. Okay, the first book suggestion is actually a twofer, and they are by the same author, Vashti Harrison, and these are the Little Leaders books. They have one for Little Leaders, Bold Women in Black History, and also Exceptional Men in Black History. Now, I love these books because they jam pack a bunch of information into one little picture book, and on each page, you will find some information about a different man or woman who is important in Black history. We have Mary Bowser, a Civil War spy. Many of these men and women I have actually not heard of before, so it was fun for me to learn about these people as well. And I also love that while they are all Black men and women, of course, they are very diverse in terms of where they come from and what types of jobs and careers they ended up having. She also orders them from oldest to newest, so there are some people from a long time ago in history. We have Bessie Coleman, a pilot. We have Augusta Savage, an educator and sculptor. And then as you go towards the end of the book, you have a bunch of people that are still alive now and some that your students will probably recognize. We have Ruby Bridges, of course, Oprah Winfrey, Mae Jemison, who is also in the story May Among the Stars, which we'll talk about in a minute. And then at the end, there's even an area for more little leaders to add on to all the exceptional women and men in black history. I didn't show the men's one there, I just flipped through the women's one because it's set up in the same way. But another reason I love these books is because throughout the month of February, of course you can do this all year round, but since it is Black History Month, it's very easy to go ahead and flip open to a page and just quickly take a minute or two to learn about each of the people in these books. Now also at the end of these books, I don't know if I showed it in the image before, but they do have some further reading. So you could read their actual writing. So you could pick like Frederick Douglass, you could read some of his work, you could read some Langston Hughes, you could read about Barack Obama. So if students are particularly intrigued or inspired by any of these men or women, they can look up a little bit more about them. Both of these are just really informative and fun to kind of quickly go through and learn a lot about some really cool people. Okay, the next two picture books I love are about two black women. I already mentioned Mae Jameson, but here is Mae Among the Stars. I think I've actually referenced this book at least, I know at least once, I think even twice in some of my other videos, but this one is a great one for K through two. This story is written by Rhoda Ahmed and it is about Mae Jameson, who was the first African-American female astronaut. And it really just goes through her life as a child and how she always wanted to be an astronaut. But you know, along the way, some people told her, maybe that's not really possible. I think you would be better as a nurse. And they kind of shut down her dream, but she continued to persevere in what she wanted to do. She put her mind to it. And what do you know? She became the first African-American astronaut. This book is really great for teaching all about perseverance, working hard, and really believing in yourself. Speaking of perseverance, working hard, overcoming challenges, we have Wilma Unlimited. Now, this book is one that I actually usually read at the end of the year. Um, in my last week of school each year, I do a themed day every single day, and one day is sports day, and our read aloud is focused around Wilma Rudolph. Again, obviously these books can be read at any time throughout the year, but this is a favorite of mine, so I wanted to mention it. This story centering on Wilma Rudolph talks about her childhood, um, how she was born, she was left to run and jump when she was a child, and then she actually got polio and she didn't have any feeling in her legs. So for someone who really liked to move and run and jump, it was a real big hardship for her. Um, she had to wear a heavy steel brace and she would just kind of, you know, watch all the other kids and see them play and naturally she wished she could join them. 
Throughout the story, Wilma never gives up on her dreams of wanting to run and move, and she's actually able to take some steps, and then from those steps, she continues practicing and moving and running. She's able to play basketball, and people start to notice just how fast she is, and Wilma actually won a full athletic scholarship to Tennessee State University, becoming the first person in her family to go to school. While she was there, she did track and field, and she was one of the fastest women they had ever seen. She was so fast that she went to the Olympics. Not only did she go to the Olympics, but she became the first female American to ever win three gold medals at the Olympic Games. At the time, Wilma Rudolph was of course known as the fastest woman on earth with all those gold medals, and this is just a really inspiring story to read with your students, especially if they've never heard of Wilma Rudolph before. Okay, so we had two in-depth stories about famous black women. Let's talk about some black men. This one we have buzzing with questions, the inquisitive mind of Charles Henry Turner. This is by Janice Harrington, and this story is all about the scientist Charles Henry Turner. I like reading this one with my students because we're kind of, in grades K through two, diving into that scientific inquiry. Like, if we have a question, we might have a hypothesis, we need to come up with a plan and try to solve it. And this story really focuses on how Charles Henry asks questions over and over and over and tries to find answers to them in all sorts of really fun ways. This story starts off by telling us all about how Charles Henry Turner was always very intrigued by insects. He of course becomes an entomologist and studies insects throughout the book, so that's a fun word for students to learn. And then the story goes on into his college life and some of the questions he has around these insects. He would ask questions about spiders webs and tiny crustaceans in the sea, but he wouldn't just ask the questions, he would see if he could find out the answer. I find that this is really fun for students to realize that, you know, other people have questions about the same things that they do, and they come up with ways to see if they can answer these questions. Throughout the story, we get to see some of the real creative and ingenious ways Charles tries to answer all these questions about these ants and these different bees and all these other different spiders. And really what's shown throughout the story is his patience and his persistence in trying to solve these scientific questions. The story does touch upon some of the racial prejudice he had to endure living in the South during this time, but it goes on to show that even throughout those hard times, he never stopped asking questions and he became a very talented biologist and entomologist. At the end of this book, Charles Henry Turner actually becomes a teacher and he pushes his students to go find out the answers to their questions, which as a teacher, I think it really resonates. Instead of always just answering your students' questions for them, you can really kind of push them towards finding out those answers for themselves and see what discoveries they make along the way. All right, the last book I wanted to share today is a new to me book, and that is this one right here. It is called Mr. Crumb's Potato Predicament. Now, students love reading about different inventions and how they were made, how they came to be, and this one talks about the invention of the potato chip. Now, this story right here is a fictional one, but it is about George Crumb, who is Native American and African American, and it talks about how he kind of accidentally comes up with the potato chip after having to deal with a very demanding customer. This story has a ton of great vocabulary and is a really fun one for your students to read as it talks about George Crumb and how he became someone who just worked at the restaurant to becoming a successful chef and owning a bunch of restaurants. And it's always fun for students to really think about things that they see in their everyday lives, like potato chips, and find out where they came from. In a similar way, this book reminds me of Wush, and we can call this another honorable mention here, but Wush is actually about Lonnie Johnson, who is another African-American male, and he was the inventor of the Super Soaker water gun. So again, kind of just taking a very popular item that your kids are very familiar with and sharing how it was made. So there are just six and a half, if you count whoosh at the end there, um, of my favorite books to read aloud during Black History Month, but naturally there are a ton of other good ones out there. As always, for my picture book suggestion videos, I would love if you could share some of your favorite read alouds for Black History Month and share them down in the comments. That way we can have a nice big list going for any teachers that are watching this video. 
I hope I was able to give you some good suggestions of books to read this month. If you are in need of other Black History Month resources geared towards K through two, then my suggestion would be to check out Lanisha Tab and Naomi O'Brien's TPT store. I will have it linked down in the description, but they have made a ton of great resources for kindergarten, first and second grade to really help you celebrate Black History Month in your classroom. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up so I know. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel and click that bell. That way you're notified of every new video. See you in the next one. Bye.